information, this webinar is recorded and you will be able to watch it again later and you will also be able to share it with your colleague teachers in case they could not attend this session and all the information will be uploaded on the STEM Alliance portal. So I'm going to start my camera also so you can see me, so welcome everyone, we are really happy to see 32 participants today from many different countries oh, and uh, now we are ready to start. So I'm going to first present you the content of this webinar so you can see the table of content here. So I'm first talking about the STEM Alliance and the STEM Professional Go Back to School program. Then my colleague Evita Tasiopoulou will present the Professional Go Back to School booklet. She will mention some idea on how to organize a visit from a STEM professional from a company and she will give you some of the steps to keep in mind before, during and after the visit. Then my colleague Sylvia Diacon will present you the Professional Go Back to School online tool. So she will explain you how you can connect there, how you can use it and how you can get in touch with professionals from the STEM industry. Then my colleague Giacomo Gallardini will speak about the communication aspect of this scheme. He will present you with some material that we developed and will give you some advice as well. And finally, I will talk to you about the STEM Career Massive Open Online course and I would like to remind everybody that uh, today we also have some of the participants of the MOOC connected and this webinar is one of the activity of the STEM Career MOOC. So wake, welcome to everyone. So the demand for STEM professional and associated professional is expected to grow by around 8% between now and 2025. This means that Europe and associated country needs more young people to pursue STEM subjects and careers. They will become a part of a much needed qualified workforce in the coming years and contribute to the growth of the European economy. We need motivated, properly trained and well equipped STEM teachers to prepare and inspire the next generation of researchers and industry professionals. The STEM Alliance tackles those fundamental societal challenges through the support of industry partners and ministries of education represented by European school nets. So the STEM Alliance is an initiative that is supported by companies and, part and private partners that you can see on this slide. So in total we have 13 of them and it's co-coordinated by the Business Network of Corporate Social Responsibility, CSI Europe. So STEM Alliance is building on a previous project that was called Ingenious that ran from 2011 to 2014 and it has been created to promote STEM, innovative STEM education, STEM careers and promote all STEM jobs in different STEM industry sectors. These partners have decided to join force to, su to support and promote existing industry education STEM collaboration because we know that there are many of these collaboration existing around Europe and the world and this partner joined forces also to develop new ways to teach STEM and to support teachers to bring this innovation in the classroom. Since its launch, STEM Alliance has reached more than 10,000 pupils and hundreds of teachers as well as companies from all over Europe and beyond. And this has been done through a variety of activities that bring industry and education closer together. So these activities are organized around three main pillars. The first one is scaling up through knowledge building and collaboration. So for example, the STEM Alliance portal is providing a catalog of publication that you can look at if you want to know more about STEM, innovative STEM education, the skills needed uh, to pursue STEM careers. 
And the second pillar is the support of to teachers and industry. So professional go back to school is part of the second pillar. And finally, we have the communication and outreach pillar that organize, for example, European-wide campaigns. Like the STEM Discovery Week that will take place at the end of April. To find out more about all the resources and the activity that the STEM Alliance is organizing and supporting, you can go to the public portal stemalliance.eu and the best way to keep updated about our activities is to subscribe to our newsletter. You will find the link to subscribe from the home page of the STEM Alliance portal. Okay, now that I have introduced the STEM Alliance project uh, quite uh, from a general perspective, I'm going to speak more particularly about one of our major activity that we've launched recently. It's called the STEM Professionals Go Back to School. To find out more about the STEM Professional Go Back to School, you have to go on the public portal of the STEM Alliance, so stemalliance.eu, and to find the page, you do slash PGBS. So PGBS stands for Professional Go Back to School. So on this page, you will find all the different services and resources that we have developed to help you organize the visit of STEM professional in your school. So we have a general information brochure. One is targeted at school and the other one at professional from companies to explain what the professional go back to school is all about. So for example, if you want to share information about it with your peers, you can use that, but uh, Giacomo will talk more about that after. We have the access to the online tool that Sylvia will present. We have also the access to the booklets that provide the step-by-step -step guidance on how to organize a visit that Evita will present and uh, an access to all the communication material that you can use to spread the word about this great initiative. So I will give you Evita the floor now because she will present you the booklet that we develop uh, for schools to organize STEM professional go back to school activities. Thank you, Maite. Okay, so as Maite uh, already said, uh, one of the things that we have developed in order to, to help you and to support you in this process of setting up um, activities and inviting professionals to come to your school, um, we have uh, developed this uh, guide, this guide for schools. So as you can see now on your screens, in the table of uh, contents, apart from the, um, let's say, quite um, to be expected parts, which are the introduction and the resources that we have added in order to support you, the most important things are, are particularly part one and part two. So part one is the, and the actual guide, which, as you can see, it's breaking the whole visit, the whole experience, in three steps. So the first step is the preparation, the second step is the actual visit, so the day of the visit, and uh, the third one is um, the follow-up, so what is actually happening after the event. Let's uh, go through these steps one by one, and uh, without um, ruining your uh, experience of reading the guide, I will just give you just um, a taste of, of the tips that we, have, uh, that we have included. So let's go first thing. So first of all, we have the preparation phase. So the most important thing for you at this stage is, first of all, to find a professional who is, um, um, who is equipped and uh, has uh, the skills and the expertise that you want to bring into your classroom. So to do that, you are going to use uh, the tool that the professionals go back to school um, tool that uh, my colleague Sylvia is going to present to you uh, right after me. Um, one of the most important things that you also need to do during this phase is also to um, uh, start forming an idea of the actual activity that you want to, to organize. And to do so, uh, you can uh, oh, take a look at the STEM Alliance repository of practices where you will include different kinds of activities that have already taken place or are in progress. And hopefully this will give you inspiration in order to organize your own activities. What is also very important is to appoint one person um, in your school as a contact person. 
the, the reasons for that are quite uh, practical. As soon as you are going to find and start contacting your professional and you're going to start talking uh, with him and deciding about your objectives, the topics and all these things, it is of course much, much easier to have one person as uh, the reference as a reference point. And it's also much easier for the professionals themselves to know that for whatever happens, that anything that has to do with the activity then the visit that you are planning, they can always refer to one person. What is also very important for you to remember is that at this phase, you are not only organizing an activity, but you are sort of investing in building a relationship with the professional, the specific one that you are inviting, but hopefully with um, the company itself. So it is important to pay attention to these kinds of things and make sure that, you know, there is, a, there is a trustworthy person, a responsive person that is going to be at the end of the line and it's going to be the one dealing with all the communication uh, before, during and after the visit. What is also very important as soon as you, found, as soon as you find your professional and you decide on uh, the main objectives of the visit is to develop um, an agenda. And what is also quite interesting and good to, to do if you have the possibility to do so is to involve the students in this process. Uh, since everything is organized and, you know, the, the target audience at the end of the day it is your students, the more involved you get them in the process right from the start, the better response you are going to get. So try to involve them in this kind of preparations and decision making, whatever you think that it's um, uh, appropriate and make them feel um, that, you know, they are, they are part of the, the process, that there is no distance, you know, that they are contributing and they are participating and they are somehow controlling the experience as well. Um, very important to keep in mind, uh, if you are planning to take pictures, which we hope that uh, you will, because it's important for um, uh, sharing information about your, your activity and also for spreading the word later on to the social media, make sure that you have uh, permissions, both for pictures and for both for, um, for video. We are um, providing you with a consent form that you can use and if needed you can, uh, you can adapt as well in case you plan to uh, collect any other type of information. So that's the preparation phase. So moving on we have the day of the actual visit. So big day, hopefully not very stressful if everything has taken place as it should during the preparation. So first of all, you need to think about everything well, well in advance, not on that day. So anything that has to do with the actual um, schedule, with uh, logistics, with uh, practicalities, you have to have it under control on that day. It is also very, very important to, you know, we are humans, things are happening, you need to stay flexible. So keep in mind that if anything happens and for some reason there is traffic and your, you know, and your expert is late or something, try to be in a position to adapt things and to be flexible. Um, what is also very, very important and we have seen that it is highly appreciated is the, the actual way that you are going to welcome the professional at your school. So the more attentive you are, um, the better atmosphere you are going to create around the visit. So there are small things that can make a difference. For example, you know, waiting for the person uh, at the entrance or um, maybe you, maybe there is um, like lack of parking or whatever. So if you manage to reserve, uh, reserve some place for the person, uh, make sure that you have like um, indications around the school. So, you know, if the person comes earlier and you are not like right there at the entrance that they're not going to get lost. So this kind of small but attentive um, gestures can actually help and uh, they can sort of create this positive uh, aura that is going to reflect to the content of the visit as well. Um, make sure that since you have this opportunity to have the professional at your at your school, so try to include in your, in your agenda and in your um, uh, planning uh, some kind of um, of uh, activity that will actually help the, the professional to understand the importance of this kind of visit and, you know, uh, and of this school industry collaboration to your school. So if you have like uh, the possibility to include some kind of presentation, maybe from the students even, of other uh, activities of this type that they have done and some uh, impressions or if you have like um, 
uh, some um, uh, some outcomes of other uh, type of, of projects, but again, you know, STEM and uh, industry-related projects that you can show off, then do so. So it will help them to understand the, the importance of, um, of their visit, and then you're going to get them even more engaged to this whole um, experience. Uh, of course, as we said before, pictures and any kind of documents any, uh, that, you can, uh, that you can take during the visit, they are quite important, and I'm sure that Giacomo later on is going to tell you more about how to communicate uh, things um, in uh, the best way possible. So, finally, we have the final step. So, the visit has taken place. Whatever happened, happened. Hopefully, everything went well. So, it's quite important to finish everything and to wrap up everything again in a positive and a constructive way. So it is very, very important to try to collect feedback and impressions from your students. There is a specific uh, and a dedicated feedback form in the tool itself that hopefully you are going to see later on. Provide feedback yourself, so make sure that you write back to the professional, thank them, but also give them some impressions, some quotes from the students, some nice pictures that they're going to remind them of the experience. Share again your experience, as we said before, now that everything is completed and you know you have started making your own conclusions and you can start feeling the impact, make sure that you share that. And very, very important, keep in touch with a STEM professional. As we said, it's not only about one single visit. You have the opportunity to start building a relationship. So when you write back to them, when you share this feedback, and hopefully everything will be positive, and encouraging for him, but also for your uh, school, try to come up with a suggestion. Is there any follow-up activity that you can think of? Is there, maybe do you, would you like to, to make this like a, an annual uh, event for your school, to have someone coming from, from the industry? Feel free to share this kind, of, uh, this kind of thoughts with him and see where this relationship is going to uh, take you. Finally, so to help you um, keep yourself uh, organized and make sure that you don't forget any of the steps, we have also prepared like two checklists. So you can see here on your screen that we have one pre-visit checklist and one post-visit checklist that you are more than welcome to print them and to, to um, use them in order to keep track of your progress. So that's about it. And uh, of course, if you have any any feedback and any comments on the guide itself, if you think that something is missing, if you think that something needs to be added, feel free to let myself and my colleagues know, and we will be happy to improve it later on. Thank you. Many thanks, Evita, for this very in interesting presentation. It's uh, sure a good tool to help uh, teachers to set up their visit, and we hope that you will use this booklet and that you will mention it to your colleagues as well that are interested by this type of activity. So now my colleague Sylvia will present you with the online tool that we developed uh, to help you connect with a STEM professional. So Sylvia, the floor is yours. Hello to everyone. Can you listen to me? Okay. Many thanks, Maite, and good morning to all of you. Welcome to the second webinar for schools about the STEM Alliance activities and about our great professionals go back to school too. My name is Silvia, and today I will guide you in the registration and navigation in the professionals go back to school too. Please remember that every information I'm giving you is included in the user guide, which is in the tool. So later on, I will show you where it is and how to download it. Um, actually, in the email we sent you before the webinar, we recommended to create your profile before it, just to be able to, to help you to raise your questions now. So please feel free to write now in the chat, and we will try to answer to you. Um, don't worry if you didn't register yet, because I will explain you now how to create your profile, and then we'll navigate together in the tool. Actually, the purpose of the tool is to enable schools and companies to get in touch and to organize a visit of the STEM professional. School and companies will have the chance to find the most suitable partner and to create an activity. Another purpose of the tool, which is also very important, is to collect, to analyze, 
and to share the data about the activities. So now let's go to the registration process. Actually, the let me check the presentation. The first step to access the Professionals Go Back to School tool is to create a profile on the STEM Alliance portal. In this way, you will have an open ID, which is like a, an identity card on the portal, that will give you the access to all the STEM Alliance activities on the portal itself. So if you click on www.stemalliance.eu, you will have access to the main page of the portal. If you click on the top, on the right, you will see Sign In, and you have to click on that button. And if you don't have a profile yet, then you will be redirected to the login page. So basically, you will see, you will have access to this page, and you will be asked to provide some few data, so like your the username you chose, your first name, family name, your email address, and your password. Then, after the the security check, you need to read the legal statements and the privacy policy, and you can submit your data. Once you will have this, um, once you will have this, uh, when you, you will submit all this information, you will receive an email with your Open ID. You go back to the login page and you insert your Open ID. So you will enter in on the STEM Alliance portal and you will be asked to provide some information about you and about your organization. So about you, you will be asked to provide your first name, your family name, your email address, then you'll be, you will select your country, your mother tongue and all the other languages that you speak and you can provide your website and then you read the terms of condition and conditions, and then you submit the information. So this will be the first step of the of your profile, you know. After that, there is the part concerning your organization. So first of all, you have to select the country, and then you will be able to see if your organization is on on the list or if it's not on the list. So if it's on the list, no problem. You select it, and the this will be your organization. While um, if you if your school is not in the list, then you will click I did not see my organization in the list. And you will need just to provide some information about your school. So the official institution name, the type, so primary school or secondary school. You can provide a short description and then the address, the town, the country, the region the telephone and email address, and your website, the website of the school. Then you will have to add your role, so like primary school teacher or secondary school teacher, then the subject you teach or you're interested in, and the number of pupils. Then you submit this, chain, this, um, this information, and you will be redirected directly on the back to school activity profile. Bear in mind that this is very important because it will be the profile that the companies will see. So be sure to provide all the data, all the necessary information. So first of all, select if you are, well, you are a school representative, so you will select that you are a school member. Then you can, uh, you can say that you are a STEM professional. Then you will write your country, your city, the STEM topics, the availability period and the type of activity. So you can say if it's going to be a, like a one-day activity or a half-day activity or more than one day or, or less than one day, and that's it. Please bear in mind about the, the period of availability that you can indicate a range of, um, you know, of months or of days, but then you will have to agree the exact date with the company, with the professional. Once you will have uh, provided, once, once you will provide all this information, then you submit them, and then you will be able to start your life, your activities in the tool. So now let me share my screen, and I will try to guide you, and we will do together, okay? So Sylvia is looking at uh, the tool in the meantime. So I have a 
person from Mexico telling me that uh, there is a technical question. Uh, the Annalie has not been able to access the STEM Alliance EU portal from Mexico and asking if there is a restriction for EU country. Normally, this is not the case. You should be able to access it from Mexico, but I will double check again with my team. If you want, you can write us an email to raise this question, so stemalliance at eun.org. Then uh, there was another question from Sylvia saying that she's busy this afternoon at school and she's li she'd like to watch the registration, so I would like to remind you that we are recording this session and you will be able to have a look at the webinar again. We will upload this presentation on the STEM Alliance portal. And if you have some colleagues that are interested to take part to the STEM professional go back to school, you will be able to do so sharing the link that we will upload. Actually, we were able to solve the problems. So let me log in again. Here we are. So, as you see, I am logged in with my profile. Let's go to Professionals Go Back to School Scheme. And as you see, you have the, you can choose if you are a school or a company. In your case, of course, you're a school. So, you click on Access the School to collaborate with STEM professionals. So, as you see, we are directly on the page I showed you before in the presentation. So now you can start look for the STEM professional. Um, if you click on search, you will be, you will actually have two possibilities because if you already know a company or like a STEM professional, um, you can directly invite this professional. You click on invite a company. And then you will need just to provide the first name, the last name, the email address, and the person will receive an email uh, asking to register to the tool. Because remember that you can only start organizing an activity if you uh, both register to the tool and if you both agree. OK. Then if you uh, don't know a profession, STEM professional yet, then you can look for it. You can apply some uh, some criteria. For example, let's say we want a professional in Belgium. So let's say Belgium. And you see, we will find a number of STEM professionals. And you can send them requests. Now we will show you all the activities that I have. So I can give you an idea of how it works. So as you see, uh, I have these four contacts. And in the request status section, you can see the status of the request. So for example, um, Mr. Holden, Holden Caulfield sent me a request. And you see, he's waiting for my acceptance. We can also see the request. For example, he asked, uh, he said, uh, Dear Holly, we would like to organize an activity in your school. Please let us know your availability. Best regards, Holden. And then he provided some information about him and some, um, yeah, and the request date. And so he's still waiting for my, uh, for my acceptance. And I can decide to accept or to decline the request. Um, actually, we strongly suggest you to, when you, when you do a request, we strongly suggest you to uh, add a short message. Because in this way, for the company, it will be easier to, uh, you know, to know what you want to do, which activity you want to do, the period of your availability, and it will be, it will help in the, in the, in the it will help in the request. Um, as you see, in this case, for example, uh, I sent a request to Miss Carol Francis, and I am waiting for her acceptance. Then you can, I have this contact that I accepted, so it means we can start organizing activities together. And there is this other company that I declined for many reasons, for example, maybe the period of availability was not the same, or maybe I wasn't interested in, in STEM topics, and so I declined. 
if we uh, analyze now my list of activities, as you see, I accepted Salt Paradise, so we already started to create activities, and you can see the activities. We strongly uh, recommend you, before creating an activity, to at least agree with the company some details. For example, the title of the activity, the description, uh, like the pedagogical value at the basis, and so on, uh, the date of the activity, the working language, the working tools and process, like how you intend to organize the day, the day itself, and the, expect, the expected results. Also, please notice that every time you create an activity, it will appear on the public map. As you see, we can see the details, for example, of this activity. So there is a start date, the end date, where we organize the activity, the title, a short description, the STEM topic, and the format, we, we can say. Um, every time you want, you can edit the activity. So if you click, you can, I don't know, I want to change my date, so I will change my date, or I want to change the title, I change the title. Uh, but every, every time you edit uh, your, uh, your information, they will appear on the, on the map itself. Um, once the activity is carried on, you can close it, and you will not be able anymore to modify it. So be sure that you provided all the information you needed. And you can also delete the activity if it won't take place for any reason. You can just delete it, and you won't have to. It won't be a problem anymore. Then, when you close an activity, you can choose to create a new activity with the same contact. So you, you click on Create Activity, and then you provide all the information you saw. So this is basically how the tool works. Um, remember that if you click on Help, uh, you will have the user's guide, so you can read it or download it. And for any other information, just contact us. Do not hesitate to contact us at stemalliance at um, eun.org. Thank you for your attention, and I give back the floor to Maite. Many thanks, Silvia. So I will go back to, so you should stop sharing your screen, and I will go back to the PowerPoint so we can continue with the rest of the webinar. Thank you. OK, so now the last part of the webinar are about the communication material, and then we will have some information about the MOOC, and I will add some information about the STEM Discover Week and a very nice competition we have for teachers, so we'll keep this information for the end. And now I would like to ask uh, my colleague Giacomo to talk about the communication material we have developed for the STEM Professional Go Back to School scheme. Thank you very much, uh, Maite. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Giacomo Gallardini, and I'm in charge of the communications from the STEM Professional Go Back to School scheme and the STEM Alliance in general. Um, I would like to point out that uh, um, we are going to reply to all the questions that uh, uh, you are writing in the chat. We're going to leave some uh, time and space at the end of the webinar, so we'll be able to address all your concerns. So I'm going to try to make a quick and smooth presentation about the communication material. I'm going to explain you in the next five minutes some tips and tricks on how to better disseminate uh, your participation to the professional go back to school. So as you can see from the slide, for a start, it's really important to uh, involve the majority of your colleagues and teachers and uh, principals and school counselors because it will increase the number of classes and students taking part to the program and therefore attract more companies in the, uh, in the tool. And 
Moreover, by sharing your participation on social media, you will show your school's interest to collaborate and cooperate with the industry and the companies by hosting a STEM professional. Uh, last but not least, uh, keep in mind that spending some time in communication, it's always, um, it might be a small investment, but it's uh, a high rendering for high quality activities for your students. So after this uh, small introduction, we go to uh, the communication material. Um, I would like to show firstly how to retrieve the informative brochure that might uh, was uh, referring to earlier uh, that provides information about the scheme, which is kind of a first step to get to know uh, more um, about the program and is really apt for dissemination. You can also attach it in an email to your colleagues, for example, and it explains the program and the benefits. We're going to have a quick look at it. Um, you can see it interactively on the slide but you can access it by clicking on the icon check the information brochure for schools and you're going to be redirected to a page in which you can download the uh, brochure. Uh, as I said, um, it contains an initial explanation about the program, uh, provides uh, the name of the partners taking part, and on the back side it explains all the material that you're going to be provided if you decide to take part. So the booklet that explains, uh, that Evita explained, the tool that Sylvia explained, and the promotional campaign material that I'm about to explain. Um, it's interactive, so even if you decide to share it on an email, by clicking on the tool or on the different icons, you'll be redirected to the relative um, and respective address. Uh, so um, it's uh, um, also printable. So if you're having any informative uh, uh, workshop or a session in your school or with other colleagues from other school, uh, it's a really nice and handy kind of uh, material to provide directly uh, regarding the uh, professional go back to school. Now, going next, uh, still on the professional go back to school page on the STEM Alliance website, uh, you will have to click on the mm, uh, download the communications material icon or on the link that I provided in the slide. And by clicking on that, you will access to the website uh, page that we prepared, which contains all the different kind of material that we prepare for the professional go back to school. We have uh, the official banners uh, for the a professional go back to school campaign. You can use it in your website, in your school website, uh, in your social media or in your school social media. Uh, so they're apt for any kind of use. Uh, you also have the posters that are most tailored for uh, uh, social media, so Twitter and um, Facebook. And uh, we prepared, in order to make it quick for you, we prepared some ready-made uh, uh, tweets for Twitter and posts for Facebook and LinkedIn because it's really important to have a spread of this uh, um, uh, program also on LinkedIn because this is where uh, we have more chance to retrieve some professionals for your schools. So uh, don't underestimate the power of LinkedIn. Um, but you can find some tweets and posts that you can easily copy paste and insert in your Facebook uh, news feed and in your tweets. Uh, you can of course personalize them and they all contain the official hashtag of uh, the professional go back to school, which I'm going to uh, show you later. There is also a nice GIF that we prepared for the same purpose. Uh, you can uh, retrieve it on the same uh, campaign and just like copy paste the URL, the URL of the GIF and use it on your Twitter and Facebook so it can be a bit more uh, uh, interactive and nice visually if you want to have some material about this. Uh, then um, I would like to quickly address, I'm going to give you a nice uh, tip and tricks that some of you might be already aware of. Um, it is possible on Twitter to increase the share um, and the outreach of the tweet by tagging the Twitter names and handle of your contacts or of a company that you might want to involve in this program. And you can do it by directly using one of the pictures that we provide you in the communication material, one of the poster, and not by tagging um, uh, the person you want to uh, uh, 
share uh, the professional go back to school scheme in the text. So in this way, you save a lot of precious space in characters, and you have more space to deliver the content of your tweet. So while composing the tweet and after having added your picture, you can scroll down the mouse over who is in this photo, and like is it shown in this uh, slide that I provided you. And if you start to uh, to tweet there, uh, the the handle of the person that you want to contact, you can add it and continue tagging up to ten. Uh, uh, accounts. Um, then, uh, most importantly, the social media hashtag for Twitter and Facebook is hashtag PGB2S, which stands for Professional Go Back to School. Uh, then uh, another thing that I would like to point out is that if you need some uh, tailored email, some material for a presentation, or anything that you might find useful for dissemination, do not hesitate to contact us at stemalliance at uh, write us an email and we'll try to uh, do our best to uh, accommodate your request. And in terms of attracting potential uh, professionals and partners in your network, we have some, uh, we have uploaded on the professional go back to school some examples of good practice that come from our partners. Um, we have, for example, uh, some uh, nice material from CA Technology that is doing a, a program that is called Deploy Your Talent. In four different European countries, they provided uh, a short introduction, a YouTube video that you can access directly from our um, page, in which they explain how the CA Technology is trying to uh, bring uh, back uh, STEM professionals in schools in order to give the students uh, a career prospect uh, about STEM careers. The same was done by Ineos Kohl, uh, so Ineos Konol in Germany, which is part of the European Petrochemical Association, one of our partner. Uh, they developed this TUVAS uh, program, which means do something, uh, and they're explaining how they are uh, making more um, uh, they are addressing the uh, STEM uh, subjects in school uh, in, and uh, providing uh, guidance to the children. Uh, and last but not least, the IDM volunteer programs. Uh, IDM has a volunteer program with uh, IDMers and uh, coders, researcher, professional that are working for the company. They are taking some time off to going into schools, elementary, middle, secondary school, trying to uh, promote uh, campaigns or activities regarding STEM. Uh, again, any request for material is at uh, STEM Alliance uh, at UN.org. And if you know any existence activity you would like to share with STEM Alliance, or you are aware of any other similar program or activity to be professional go back to school, just do not hesitate to contact us. Uh, thank you very much for your attention, and I'll uh, give back the mic to Mike. Many thanks, Giacomo. So before talking about the STEM Career Massive Open Online course, and I know that many of you are taking part to this webinar because you are following this MOOC, I would like to share with you some slides about the STEM Discovery Week and about a great competition that we are organizing for teachers. So, We know that teachers are always happy to benefit of this kind of opportunity, so I will, okay. Okay, so it seems that uh, my computer doesn't want to share this slide with you, so I'm going just to talk about that with you. So, uh, I am taking over uh, Maite, which seems to have some uh, 
technical uh, issues uh, about our presentation. Is she back, Maite? Yes, can you hear me well? Yes, okay. we can hear Maite. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. So I was talking about the STEM Discover Week. So it's going to take place from 24th until the 28th of April. And it will be the occasion to celebrate innovative STEM education. And as part of the STEM Alliance, we want to give visibility to all initiatives that are collaboration between companies and schools, so an education sector in general. And as part of the STEM Discover Week, we have also a competition organized and basically to be able to maybe win the prize, you have to participate to the STEM professional go back to school and use the tool that Sylvia just presented you. So for every 50 teacher registering to the tool and registering an activity of a STEM professional coming to his or her school, we will select one that will be invited to a science workshop in Brussels in our future classroom lab. And it will take place in June from 23rd to 25th of June. Okay, so now I'm going to say a few words about the STEM Career Massive Open Online course. So I know that many of you present today are following this course at the moment, but I want to say a few words also for the other teacher that are maybe not following it. So it's a free online course that has the aim to introduce and encourage students to pursue STEM careers. It's targeted at primary and secondary STEM teachers, and it's jointly organized by the STEM Alliance, Scientix, and the Systemic Projects. It is hosted on the European School Net Academy. It started on the 3rd of April. It lasts for nine weeks, but you can finish in five weeks. So it means that if you are not uh, yet register there and if you are not following it, you can still register and you have time to catch up. And the great thing is that you will, if you successfully complete the course, you will receive a certificate, so it's digital badges and course certificate. And for three regions in Spain, it's also recognized as an official training, so you will receive an official official certificate from the Ministry of Education. So the registration is done following this link on the European uh, Schoolnet Academy and it is my colleague Theodora Johan that is the course coordinator. So if you have some question related to the MOOC, you can contact her. So thank you very much for your attention. We were happy to have so many of you present today. So we know that there were some questions. And uh, if you have more questions, don't hesitate to write them in the chat. And my colleague Sylvia will already answer one of the questions that was more related to the tool. Yes, um, I saw the question of Anika that asked uh, that her, like she tried to register, but she got the message that the mail was already registered. So I would suggest to get sure that you like try to to verify if you already registered on the STEM Alliance portal. Uh, in this case, you will see if the email is the same or not. And do not hesitate to contact us again, and we will try to guide you live to help you. Um, to solve this problem. And then to Marina Molla, um, of course you have to forward the professionals go back to school to industries in your town. Um, I don't know if it will be difficult uh, to get in touch with companies because you are from a small town. It depends if the companies are interested in the project, but with very pleasure we encourage you to, to share and to spread the word. And to Costantina Cossu, I, I say that we don't have this list of professionals from Italy, but um, we suggest you to, uh, to keep looking at the database on the tool, and so you will see when the Italian professionals will register. And 
I would like to add some elements of answer to what Sylvia just mentioned. So, uh, regarding the, the idea to invite companies from your town or from your region, don't forget that there is this option in the tool enabling you to invite them to connect to the tool. So, Sylvia uh, was presenting this. And we have some companies that are partner in the STEM Alliance that have some offices in Italy, so we can help you and support you finding the right person to come and uh, visit your school. So don't hesitate to follow up this up by email contacting me. And we will uh, help you find the right person. So I see now a question from Theodora asking if the professional invite it has some benefit. So benefit, if you are talking about financial benefit, uh, no, because it's a volunteer activity, so they are coming as volunteers. But the benefit for STEM professional to visit are explained in the booklet we developed for company and in the brochure. And basically for them, it's an opportunity to show they are supporting STEM education. Also, it's, it's an opportunity to have direct contact with young people and with you as a teacher, because it's something that they don't have in their normal uh, daily work when they are working in their company. And also, it's a, a great challenge for company to, re to recruit the people that with the right skills. So for them, it's really important to raise awareness about uh, jobs in the STEM sector because uh, they will contribute to form the future professional that uh, will one day work in the industry. So they are contributing to a long-term activity, let's say. OK. So Marina Mala is asking if she can forward the information about the professional go back to school to a power plant, electricity. So I'm not sure what you are referring to exactly, but I suppose it's a company working in this sector. And yes, of course, uh, you can involve, so any company working in uh, like a part of sectors that are related to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics are welcome to participate. So national power plant, OK, yes, of course, it's, uh, they can participate, no problem. So it can be either big industry, but of course, it can also be some uh, small and medium enterprise that are uh, in your located in your city or in your region. OK, so we have more questions coming. So Christina said that she has logged in and filled in her profile correctly. And uh, she asked uh, sh uh, if the search tab should show up now. So the first step before using the search tab is to complete your profile. Uh, so you have to go to the first tab and complete your profile. Then you will be able to search for companies. So we have a comment from Jose Maria Diaz. She made, uh, so, so it's uh, e-made, sorry. <laughs> A visit to a researcher and was very interesting for everyone. It was a part of a prize, but we will do it again. So inviting a researcher is also, of course, one of the activities that you can do as the STEM professional go back to school. So I want to mention also that the STEM professional go back to school is an ongoing activity. So we have launched it recently, but it's going to be permanently available on the STEM Alliance website, so you can use the tool at any moment. And so we have the first round of activity, so webinars and promotional activity about the STEM professional go back to school now until the end of the school year. But from next September, we will active, actively promote it again, and we will do some new webinars to raise awareness about this opportunity. So keep in mind that uh, you can use it at any moment. OK. So are there any other questions? Yes, a question from Ariana. What if the professional doesn't want to be part of the STEM Alliance platform? So 
I understand that it can be a challenge, but what we expect then from the teacher is to support them, so basically uh, to also to take the lead when it comes to creating the activity, uh, so defining the title, the description of the activity, etc. because usually these STEM professionals are very busy people, so we understand that they might not have time to uh, to fill in the form for the activity, etc. So we accept the te we expect the teacher to take a leading role here. But um, and for the professional, uh, you can always uh, provide them with my email address also, and uh, I can help you to set up this uh, activity through the online tool, of course. Okay, I'm checking if there are more questions coming up. Okay, and I would like also to remind you that the webinar will be, the recording of the webinar will be uploaded on the portal so you can see it again. And uh, don't hesitate to contact us if you have any other questions. So we are going to finish this webinar now. I would like to uh, wish you all a very nice evening. We would like to wish also all the teachers following the SEM Career MOOC a very successful course. And uh, we hope that you will learn a lot. So the STEM Career MOOC is a very nice complementary activity with the STEM professional go back to school. You will have a lot of information that will help you also organize this type of activity. So keep up the good work and uh, we will, uh, you can stay in touch with us using our contact detail. Bye-bye, everyone.